Hi guys, Nick here from technicblogic.com and today I'm going to show you the Asus new Ultrabook, the UX305. So let's get started. So when you come to the box of the device, at the front it shows the Asus ZenBook and the Asus logo with the product image over there and uh, all the four corners it has written Asus ZenBook and now I just open up the box and at the first here comes the Asus UX305. So I just keep this aside and first here comes the charger which is pretty compact size uh, charger which you normally receive with all the Asus laptops a small charger and it also comes with a USB to LAN converter as this device is really very thin it does not support any LAN so that's why there is a connector which comes uh, within the box through which you can connect the LAN cable on USB when we open up it further you receive the nice leather back with a magnetic uh, button on top of it so that you won't lose the laptop here it comes with the uh, some clothing i think i just open it up and some user guide in it as well so it is the microfiber cloth for cleaning the device and here are some of the paperwork which you can see i just keep all these things aside and there is nothing in the box so when we come to the best part of the notebook or we can see the ultrabook it's is design and it's screen quality first when you come to the design the ux305 comes with the brushed metal look for a more matte looking finish but the overall effect is stunning but the main problem is that it is fingerprint magnet but it doesn't matter as uh, because it looks really very great you can clean it by using the hand the most striking thing is this slimness Thanks to the use of Intel latest ultra low power Broadwell chip, this laptop is passively cool. When we come to the overall weight of the device, it is just 1.2 kg. When we compare it with 1.36 kg of 13 inch MacBook Air. When we come to the hardware of UX305, at the right side of the device, you will find the 3.5 mm audio jack. Beside it, you will find the mini HDMI port. Beside it, a USB 3.0 port and the charging port. When we move further to the left hand side of the device, you will find the dual USB 3.0 port and a micro SD card support which is really very good as we can expand it using our micro SD card as well. At the back side of the device there is nothing as they don't have the space for anything over here. At the top side you will see the Asus logo which is engraved with some steel kind of finish on it which is really very metallic and feels really very good. When we see the bottom of the device you will see the dual stereo speaker and the fan over there which warm ups a little bit when you put it on your bed or something like that if you're not using the table it will feel a little bit warm from that side overall it won't heat up and the screen quality is really very really awesome now we move further to the screen and then to the specifications you also get 13.3 inch full hd ips screen above which sits the 720p webcam a qhd 3200 by 1800 pixels option over there the keyboard is comfortable to use and with grippy keys leaving plenty of space for your fingers. We had no problems with missed keystrokes and were able to type consistently. And the only downside of uh, this keyboard is that no backlighting over there making typing late into the night possibly pain for each and every person. We would necessarily expect it on the laptop at this price but uh, we still miss it on this device. The touchpad is relatively good and is massively improved by Asus. Excellent gesture control software has been installed. You can switch various two or three finger gestures on and off using this program and also deactivate the often tiresome Windows 8 gestures that activate if you accidentally swipe on fingers from the edge of the touchpad. Our favorite gesture is uh, the three finger down swipe gesture that shows the desktop and three finger left and right gesture that take your back and forward into the browser. When we come to the hardware specifications and the screen quality is really very good. As you receive the full edges screen, uh, the colors are really very good. They are accurate and there are deep blacks over there. You will get really very crisp images and uh, video quality and I love to watch movies on it like we love on MacBook Air. The screen quality is the best part for this uh, device for UX305. When we come to the hardware in CPU-Z as you can see it comes with i5 5th generation 5200U clocked at 2.2 GHz and uh, when you move further to the main board, it comes with ASUS Tech Computer Incorporated model UX305LA 
and uh, when we come to the memory it comes with 8 gb of ddr3 ram which is really very good as uh, most of the devices these days coming with 4 gb ram only and when we come to the graphics part of the device it comes with intel hd 5500 not with the nvidia graphics but it doesn't matter the memory it comes with is uh, 1 gb and when we come to the benchmark test and uh, move further over there the benchmark you receive is 1290 and uh, the cpu multi-thread benchmark is 2606 which is pretty good and uh, when you move further to the gaming performance i just play the gta 5 and skip this loading part the gta 5 is working pretty fine there is a little bit yellow tint over here but you can correct it by switching off the eye mode which is there on asus devices so that it won't affect your eyes i just play it and the sound quality is good i just increase the volume so this is the gta 5 the video has been recorded from my camera itself so that's why you can see different pixelations but uh, else it is pretty good the uh, video quality is very good and it won't heat up i'm playing it without using any underneath fan over there and the performance is good no lags are there and the game is playing on the full graphics right now so that's it for the video guys hope you guys like it if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to hit the like button and do comment and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter and make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya and keep rocking